for the 5 amps, <coughs> the CT ratio is 3200 to 5. That's why on the secondary side, we just need to inject 5 amps. I reset everything. We don't need any timer for the pickup test. The timer is going to be used for delay the trip time. This is the selector for phases. We're going to do it for A phase, B phase, and C phase. Ground test is testing the ground function. However, this trip unit only has the long time and short time. No instantaneous, no ground. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start injecting the current. I put it on low. Low amp can give us up to 8 amps. It goes up to 8, but if you need more current on the secondary, then you have to switch it to high side. All right, so I'm gonna press test, start ramping the current up to five, around five. And that should be roughly my pickup plus minus a tolerance. So what I'm monitoring at this time is the LED indicator light I keep increasing the current and see where my light starts blinking that's what I'm gonna record as my long time pickup right there right there long time pickup is blinking and the time I the current I recorded is 4.9. It means if I inject 4.9 amps on the secondary, my long time function starts picking up. The next test is going to be the long time delay. So let's say we want to do it at six times, at six times the nominal current. I'm going to stop it and reset we need the timer for this test if you look at the settings my short time function is going to overwrite at 2.5 times the nominal current so i need to change the short time pickup so it's not going to trip first otherwise my short time is going to pick up at half a second I change it to S1 or S2, S2 is the maximum at 10 times. So I know my short time pickup now is moved all the way to the right. And I'm dealing only and only with long time function at six times the nominal current. It's supposed to trip around two seconds. That's the band I have. The minimum maximum, we can get it off of the TCC published by the manufacturer. So six times the nominal current, six times 3200 is gonna be 19,200 amps yeah 19,200 amps on the primary on the secondary though it's gonna be six times five which equals 30 amps so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pulse it and see how much current it's going to give me. This is 7.3. I need a lot of current, 30 amps on the second V, so I change it to high. This one is 45 amps, so I need to lower it down. What I need is just 30 amps. This one 27.1. 29.5 a little bit more so right on the dot we are good there I'm resetting the timer I have the timer and what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna time it how much time it takes for phase A long time function to trip and that's what I'm gonna do right now First, I need to close the breaker, charge it. And 
Closing. The breaker is closed. Now I can push the current and record the trip time. Testing. As you see, we have roughly 30 amps injected and the trip time is 1.7 seconds which is within the acceptable range provided by the manufacturer this one is good we need to do the same thing for b phase and c phase we're done with the long time pickup and short time the next test we're gonna go back to short time pickup for the short time pickup i need to reset press reset the trip unit change the pickup back to the original setting 2.5 and 2.5 2.5 times 5 is gonna be 12.5 that's roughly where it's gonna pick up so I don't need the timer I turn it off and then I press reset the breaker is open it's not gonna trip anymore so I need 12.5 so roughly there we can start the test over there so right now I have okay so it seems it was too much current because my short time picked up I will lower down the current start from a lower value I reset this testing see I need to start bringing up the current so my short time delay let me reset it one more time and here one more time we have 11.9 12 12 on the dot at 12 my breaker tripped and the secondary current tester was a stop and you see that was my short time pickup 12 on the dot on the secondary side we have to do the conversion see how much current it's gonna be on the primary side and that's what we're gonna record on the test for the last test we need to perform on a phase of this trip unit is gonna be the short time delay short time delay roughly half a second i reset it this time we need to have the timer on i can test it at 1.5 times the short time pickup um, short time pickup we said it's 12.5 on the secondary side I have to multiply it by another one and a half and it's gonna give me 18.75 let's see if we can get to this one was 11 17 11 point 18 point okay this is too much okay 18.7 that's what we had so it is good we are ready to perform the test the breaker is open i need to charge it and close it that's how we use the time close it By the time the breaker trips the timer stops so anytime we want to time the breaker we have to have the breaker in closed position everything is set testing and tripping this one tripped at 0.5 seconds which is aligned with 0.5 seconds short time delay we have here but again we need to confirm these numbers with the manufacturer curve 
TCC to make sure this is acceptable trip time. The breaker is tripped, it tripped on short delay, and we are done since this breaker didn't have instantaneous or ground, no further action is required on trip unit testing. Uh, we just need to repeat the same test on B phase and C phase. You just need to rotate the selector on B and C and start testing again all over.